I was actually gone for a couple of days on vacation with my girlfriend in San Diego and I apologize for not making a video but we had a really good time and today my new Hoy RX3 boat should be coming in. With all that being said I want to get back out today and hunt for some whitetails. So the first place that I kind of want to go is the location that we took down all those bucks at. Now it looks like we have a bunch of bucks back here again. In fact we have four more whitetail bucks. They're all very very small. Now this is kind of interesting to me because last time we were here we took down three pretty much max weight bucks. One was like a 218 score and the other were kind of borderline gold. These things here are all pretty small. This buck here is kind of the biggest one. Uh, two minor at 140 to 180 so he's probably going to be like a 160 buck. But nonetheless we definitely want to try and take down at least three of these white tail bucks so if you want to take down more than two and potentially three white tail you should always set up a tripod let's do that let's get up in the tripod and zero in for 300 and see if we can't take down at least three of these white tails well accidentally hit the dough on that second shot but i think we still did get that buck here's one buck ended up getting actually a double lung heart shot and a 131 we got another white tail down here i think this is going to be the buck yeah it is ended up getting vertebrae hit and a vertebrae hit at 377 and then we got one more down over here oh boy i don't know if we're quite going to get this one we just got a blood rate medium, but I think she's about to run out of render distance here and we are not going to find her, unfortunately. The last time we were here, we jumped up another massive whitetail. We took down one, but there was actually two of them. So I got a pretty good feeling he might be over here. There is the buck I was looking for. He's about 100 yards out on the trot. And we just smoked him. That was kind of weird though. I was holding my breath and all of a sudden the guy like lost breath. It's like he went <laughs> But we did manage to take the shot and we definitely smoked him because I don't see him running anywhere unless I guess there was only one buck here because that's all I can see at this point. Oh right there. I knew I saw another buck. Yeah, I'm thinking we probably got a front shoulder hit on that buck, which either way it should take him down probably within like a hundred yards. Nonetheless, that first buck we definitely smoked. You can see a nice vital hit right there and that is why we didn't see that buck look there he is piled up he didn't go 15 yards and piled up right in this super tall grass here let's pick him up and that's going to be a 215 gold made an awesome 119 yard running right lung shot on him and a lot of people are asking why don't we use chance right now well it's because there's a lot of things going on with the tents and it involves the dogs so without the dogs uh the game's running a little bit smoother at this point, so that's why I'm not using Chance. Although he would come in pretty handy, especially at this point right here. But we found our buck down, and it's going to be right in front of that shoulder blade. I knew we let him just a little bit too much, but we got him at a 175. I used to have some really nice white tail bucks over here, but lately I haven't really seen any. Um, we're gonna go check this spot out anyways because there's a really good chance one should be around here I made a couple of videos of bow hunting from tree stands and this spot here was phenomenal There was an excellent deer crossing right here and the whitetail would just keep coming across back and forth But lately I haven't really seen any so let's go over there and go check it out I just jumped up a couple whitetail here and one of them is definitely gonna be our big buck That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna cut back. There's the big buck. There's Holy, That's a giant buck. Holy where'd that buck come from? You just made the wrong move, Buck. I think we got him on our last shot. Yes! Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's still going. He's still going. Oh, man. We need to follow up. Reload, reload, reload. Well, we finally did find our big Buck down. And a 214. Oh, man. We actually let him a hair too much there. It wasn't really too bad of a shot. We just let him too much. We're zeroing in for 80, and he was running. So I held in front of him. But if we would have held a little bit back further, we probably would have made an awesome shot. But still... A beautiful 214 gold whitetail buck. We got a couple of whitetails out here at about 315, and I think we should be able to get all three of them. Well, at least we got two of them. <laughs> That's kind of what I wanted to do. I was, well, my main goal was to be able to take down as many whitetails we could before. They got out of render distance and we got two bucks and that's pretty good. 
So I think we made a double lung heart shot on that one at 300 yards out. And this one we got in the back of the neck at 322 yards out, a 151. And a pretty incredible shot right there. 320 yards right in the back of the neck. There's a good buck. He's about 280 yards out. Probably like a 210 or a 215 whitetail. Let's see if we can't get on him. And just smoked him. But the fact that he took off. Holy, there's a lot of deer there that I could not see. Wow, look at them all. There's a buck there. Would have been a good shot, but I don't think we quite let him enough. I think I want to take down a doe as well. Just because there were so many does out there. We actually did get all three of those whitetail. But I also don't know if we use a tripod right now if we would lose the zone. But the question is, we don't even have a whitetail zone. It's an elk zone anyway, so what's the difference? So let's set up a tripod. And see if we can't take down at least one more whitetail doe. In fact, I have one shot left. Got her. Did the zone disappear? No, it didn't. Okay, cool. So that worked out good. Yeah, this is him right here. Let's pick him up. A 225 gold. Wow, I didn't know he was that big. But a 282 yard, you see why I thought it should have been a heart shot? We were just barely high, but we did smoke that front shoulder and it slowed down the bullet quite a bit. It looks like it was going right for the heart, but it just couldn't quite make her there. But a huge white tail, 225 gold. We came from the spot two days ago and we took down three white tail doe and two buck here out of a tripod stand. And now we have a beautiful white tail buck. That's a 200 to 243. So that's like a probably a 225 plus white tail as well. We definitely want to try and take him first. And then there's another not a half bad looking buck right there at about 300 yards out. But we got to get a little bit closer because right now, if we take that shot, we're probably not going to get those bucks. Much better. It looks like this buck actually spun back around and now he's kind of quartering at us, which could present us with a pretty good quartering shot. We could go for a heart shot at about 260 and then we'll be able to take down the second buck right there. Perfectly broadside at about 260 as well. So in this case here, I don't think we're going to get in the tripod because we just want to try and focus on getting these two bucks down. Let's crouch down here and get on the big buck first. I'm shaking way too much. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> All right, here we go. That buck kind of turned, but we still ended up getting a single lung, which should take him down. Yeah, it took him down. And then that buck piled up down. So that should be about a 226 scoring white tail buck. Let's go over there and go take a look. And they're both stacked up right here. This should be the smaller. Oh, holy. That is definitely not the smaller of the two. That's a huge buck. 227 gold. Pulled off a left lung shot at 260 yards. What a beautiful white tail. I honestly thought that that was the uh, smaller of the two, but I was totally wrong on that. This is going to be the smaller buck. A 178, nice left lung at 255 yards. Do you guys remember where we got that diamond white tail a couple days ago with the bow? We're about 150 yards off from that spot here. And we have a couple of pretty good bucks. There's one right there and one right there. I definitely want to get both of them. And then there's also one right here, which I don't know if we'll be able to get him or not, but... We're going to try and for surely get these two. Although the fact that it's in the brush is going to be very, very difficult. I can kind of see that one's front shoulder. And we're going to take this one second. That's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome than that right there. All right, let's pick up these bucks here. There's going to be a 181 double lung stomach shot at 246. And then this buck here is going to be a 180 double lung heart shot at 254. Well, you guys just saw it. We just took down a couple of small bucks and then a doe in the exact same spot. And all of a sudden, we got a dime potential white tail here. That's a super, super wide buck. 220 to 262. I'm hoping that that's going to break like 256, maybe 258. But it is definitely a dime potential white tail buck. 
He's about 350 and this time we are not going to use the tripod. We're actually going to lay prone and try and take one perfect long distance shot at about 300 yards. We'll go right about here and we should be able to lay prone. Yes, we can. And we'll back up a little bit and then we'll get a range 311. Okay, we'll zero in for 300 and hold right for the heart. We should be good. Although that doe is a little bit of an obstacle. When she moves her head. Beautiful shot. Perfect heart shot. And there lays our giant white tail buck. Let's go get him. And again, the spot is just south of the Belmont Road outpost here, which we do have a tent set up right here. The white tail are right out here drinking at about 1300 in the afternoon. But here he lays right here. Let's take a look at this massive white tail buck. All right, I think we'll go with that for a picture. We really don't have very good lighting, but honestly, I think if we pat down a little bit of this, it might help out just a little bit, which might be worth it. And yeah, it's definitely going to be worth it. That's a really cool picture. And let's pick him up. He's a diamond, a 257 diamond. We took him at 311 yards and we made a double lung hard shot on that huge white tail buck. He's honestly super, super wide. And the fact that he broke 256 makes him even bigger, in my opinion, because it's really, really rare to get them with this kind of a spread like this to break that 256 mark. And actually, now that I look at it, it looks like we did, in fact, miss the heart somehow i was holding directly for the heart for 320 but we got a little bit of raise there and we went maybe two inches above the heart ended up getting a double lung shot so either way still an incredible shot and a beautiful diamond white tail i was tracking down a max white white tail buck and all of a sudden i saw something white in the herd i thought like what in the heck is that a an elk or something out there or what and lo and behold there's actually an albino white tail in this herd so honestly, if we can look for her, that should help us find the max weight buck. And I'm going to have to decide whether we want the albino or the buck. She should be right ahead of us here, but I've still yet to see her in quite some time. We got back on our track and we have a couple more tracks cutting this way. It looks like the whole entire herd. There they go. There they go. There she is. See that right there? You can probably barely see that, but that's definitely our albino. Now it's just a matter of trying to get to a spot where we can actually see somewhat decent. The problem is I have no clue where these deer are going. Absolutely no clue. Because I picked up the tracks kind of randomly walking around out here and I just started following them. And I really have no clue where they're going. Holy, that's a big buck. Okay, there's one of the big bucks. Oh, don't cut back that way. We could have taken that shot. Oh yeah, we can definitely take that shot. That should smoke him. Holy moly, did we get robbed on that shot. 80 yards out and we smoked him right in the back of the neck, but it did not penetrate and it hit absolutely nothing. 80 yards. If you hit that thing with a 30 yard six to 80 yards in the back of the neck, that thing's gonna do a backflip. <laughs> so I'm honestly not even upset about that. A beautiful white tail, 207. There's a white tail doe there. Oh, there she is, there she is. We finally got eyes on our albino. There she is right there. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. That is really, really cool. I probably could have taken that shot, but I'd like to get a better. Ooh, I think that might be the big buck we were looking for before. Ooh, that's a big buck. Um, but yeah, I still don't know where these guys are going. So at this point, we just have to kind of stay on them and hope that eventually they cut out into the open somewhere where we can actually see them good enough to take a shot. And it looks like she's going to cut back across right here next to the other big buck that I saw. That's going to be definitely a pretty good buck. And here she comes right here, about 150 yards out. She's going to step out right into this opening here. And we should be able to take our shot. Smoked her. And there's the big buck. Heck yeah. We just doubled up. We doubled up. We took down the albino. And then we smoked the big wide white tail buck. At about 150 yards out. And man, he just crumbled. And since I believe we only have maybe one or two of these, we want to take a really, really cool picture of this white tail doe here. A rare albino. 
white tail doe at that and let's pick her up that is gonna be in fact a nice albino right lung liver stomach shot at 132 yards but a rare albino white tail doe wow that is cool that is so cool first we get a diamond and now we just got a rare albino white tail man is she definitely going the trophy lodge and let's go over here and take a look at this really nice white tail that was right behind her and we smoked him here he is right here oh i actually might have got a spinal cord shot honestly Ooh, that's a good looking buck too look at the mass on that thing i don't think he's gonna be quite as big as i thought but maybe no he doesn't have as much points as he needs he's gonna be like a 160 or something and i think we definitely got the spinal cord but nonetheless we definitely got that buck down a 187 and we smoked that spinal cord shot at 162. i've always said whenever you get a chance to take down a coyote definitely do not pass up that opportunity we have a coyote out here it doesn't really matter what weapon you have either because no matter what you're gonna get a good chunk of cash all that matters is you make a good shot and we got him last time i said that exact same thing and <laughs> the coyote actually ran away because i didn't make a very good shot but we definitely made a pretty good shot this time there should have been a coyote there um i don't know where it went okay it said that we picked up a buck but that was definitely a coyote and 1100 cash all right here we are back at our trophy lodge and let's take a look at our huge diamond white tail 257 diamond white tail and next we're going to take a look at our rare albino white tail doe all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time